Hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview of filter, a better understanding, easier understanding of it, um, and then how to test your code and how to uh, debug your code, which is actually not as apparent as it would seem. Um, you'll you'll see this further on. Uh, so, you know, you go to filter, you you uh, read all through this, and you're like, okay, yeah, sort of makes sense. And then you watch the walkthrough and like, okay, yeah, I conceptually understand what I'm doing now. And then you go to you go to the IDE and you open all of these things and you get so confused because, you know, you open like, uh, filter and you're like, oh my god, what is this? <laughs> and you know you have uh, the the prompt will take you through a couple of these files and it'll show you what you do, but it's still very confusing. Like you have filter.c and you have a bunch of things in here that you don't understand. Like I don't know what this means. You know, like some other things in here. Like you can go through it and it's good to try and go through it and understand it, but it's still very confusing. And you have bmp.h. You're like I've never seen something like this before. And yeah. It's confusing, but it's okay because all we have to care about is helpers.c. Now, this is already my code in here, but it, this is just my code. Um, it'll just look like four of these, right? So it'll be blank. Um, and this is all you have to care about. This is where you're going to implement your code. So that's where you start, okay? And you go through here and you try to write your code in here. And what you'll soon come to realize is, you know, you, you have your, your code in here. Obviously, I, I've already done my three. I haven't done the last one, but... Uh, you know, pretend we're just doing grayscale, right? And we, we're going through our grayscale thing and you're like, okay, so now let's check it. And you like make helpers. So first of all, well, I already gave you a teaser like with what's there, but you make helpers and you come to this giant error message and you're like, oh my God, what do I do? And if you read through this very carefully, not that you would want to, uh, you see undefair, unde undefined reference to main. And basically, you know, if you go through your entire code, you'll see that you have edges, uh, blur, reflect and grayscale but you don't have a main function in helpers and so you know obviously yeah the, the, the code's gonna get confused and you would only know this if you went through all this and you know i tried to google search this a bunch of times but google's not very helpful you know whatever so i'm hoping this this video will help you if, if you run into this problem basically what you have to do is you have to run filter um, so if you make filter, you know, that's going to be fine and it's going to run perfectly. And the reason why is because filter has the main function, right? And inside filter, if you take the time to go through this, you'll see that this basically takes an input from uh, the prompt and it will direct, you know, based on your input to one of these functions in here. And so, you know, if we wanted to do grayscale, um, grayscale here, and, you know, uh, when you input G, which you'll see later, it'll go to the grayscale and that will be in helpers. I see in grayscale. So basically you have to go all the way back to the original file path, which would be uh, filter.c. And so that's where you make it. Um, so that's very useful to know. Now to actually run it. And obviously you can't, you know, run helpers because, you know, you can't make helpers. Uh, but you also come to find that you can't just make uh, you know, filter. And, you know, I, I stupidly came across this error, but, you know, if you actually read through the thing, you would find that, you know, oh yeah, you have these things. And okay, right. So this is a little confusing at first, but basically this just means uh, you're running filter, uh, which will run the whole program. It's always filter you start with, uh, dash g, j, dash r, dash b, dash e. That's just referring to the individual um, different functions within helpers. So your grayscale, reflect, see g, r, that's going to be g, r, right? And then b blur e edges right so you pick which one of these you want to do we'll, we'll go with grayscale for now um and then you have the input file and the output file and you know you go to copy this and you're like okay yep understanding and you know let's clear that and then you paste that and you're like could not open in file that be bmp and this got me so confused now i was so lost on this but it's actually pretty simple because this is not a file this just tells you what to put there so they, I, I'm sure they might have specified this. I was super lost, though, uh, and I'm sure some of you are, too. So basically what you have to do is you don't put in file that BMP literally. You, you have to go to images or, you know, whatever images you have, but, you know, use, use these four. And these are going to be one of the four that you put in here. So then you go dot filter. Oh, and out file is just like the out file, which would be out.bbm uh, dash G. And instead of in file, we're going to put, you know, courtyard courtyard dot bmp and then out.bmp out is always going to be the same um this one it changes based on which um picture you want to put into it doesn't matter you can pick any of them and we could not open courtyard and the reason why is because c is dumb and it's not very smart and you have to tell it where to find courtyard and i'm assuming that when you 
put in the file path for courtyard, you don't have to tell out VPN because you don't have to put the file path for here, you just have to put it for here. Basically, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, filter dash G, and then you have to put the file path to courtyard. So if you see, that's this one to pset4, to filter, to images, to courtyard. So we have to put all of that in. So we have this uh, pset4 slash where are we filter slash images slash courtyard dot bmp and then out dot bmp right so this looks kind of confusing but basically what it means you're doing filter you're doing grayscale and then this is the file path to the image that you want to input and then this is just always this is always going to stick the same the output and that's going to work nicely and you know if you correctly did grayscale and then you double click on out dot ppm and it should be Right, and we'll also click on courtyard, which is so this is the input, the image we inputted, and this will be the input, I mean the output image, and it correctly worked. It grayscaled it, right? So hurrah, cool. Um, and one last final problem, which you can probably figure out from just knowing this, but it's how to like debug helpers.c because you know I was going through this, I ended up, you know, I, I couldn't figure out how to debug, so I actually did the first two functions without a debugger, but then when I came to uh, Blur, I was like, okay, it's, it gets a little more challenging, I ran into some dumb problems, and okay, I wanted to you know, say debug from here, okay, let me go debug 50, you can see where I'm going with this, uh, dot slash helpers, you know, if we try to make helpers, obviously we can't because we can't make helpers, uh, but let's try to, okay, and right, then I would try debug 50 dot slash filter, uh, yeah. And obviously that's not going to work because why? Because this, you have to put all of the, these shenanigans in here. You can't just put dot slash filter, right? So what you end up doing, debug 50 dot slash filter, and then you put all that stuff in again. Um, you can copy and paste or just type it out again. P set for filter images, uh, courtyard.bmp, and then, or we can, we can, we can change the file here just to show you that. We'll put stadium.bmp and out out.bmp. Make sure you don't have any typos in that, which I might have. I don't think so. And it didn't compile. Why is that? Oh, right, because um, dash g that's referring to uh, which one is g grayscale, right? So that's going to go through here and then return, right? So we never actually got to where I wanted to debug. You got to make sure that's correct. So it's dash b for me. So now I have to retype all of this. Lucky for me. <laughs> uh, dot filter slash and now we're going to go slash b referring to blur and then we type the file path for the input images stadium dot bmp out dot bmp and hopefully this should work very nice and it starts you know where we put the little red marker thing and then you can go through here and see all of these nice things <laughs> and you can go through here and debug it um so that basically comes to the end of my video um that's just some really annoying problems that i encountered at the beginning uh you know when i was trying to go through this code and it just made it so much worse it didn't actually get in the way of me making the code it was just like these things that you had to get around before actually doing the code is just very annoying. So I hope this helped you if you had some similar problems. And yeah, uh, if you have any more problems, you can comment down in the video and I will maybe know an answer, <laughs> who knows, uh, but I'll definitely respond to you. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching.